Hey everybody, it's Kelly. Hope you guys are having a great day. Yesterday on Crafty Link, it's um, craftylink.com Tuesday Schmooze Days. And if you go there, you can join for free. Uh, you join craftylink.com and then you'll join the Tuesday Sh Schmooze Day group, which is free. And every Tuesday you see around two uh, shows, two live shows that you can be part of and chat and have a ball. Or you can watch them on replay if, if you work. Um... They also have a, it's called Crafty Link on, um, and it's on YouTube, so you can join there also to see, you know, uh, the videos that they have. So real quick, I do, I, I'm just going to give you a, another tip, but yesterday on my show, I made these toilet paper and paper towel roll um, gift cards. Gift cards, bookmarks, whatever you want to use of them. Um, this is one that I made. And this one has an envelope that goes in it, so you can use it for, you know, remembering things, this and that. I'm not going to go through how I made them or anything, and you can watch the replay, and I'll put the link in the description. Another one where you can use a tag, you can tie things through, you can glue different items on there, add glitter, have a ball with it. Another one. And this one I used a decorative edge scissor on the end. And then, again, another tag, and then I explained what this is for. This I use these as bookmarks um, and then write the pages down in the book that if it's a cookbook, art book, whatever you have, and you want to remember certain things and you want certain pages to be able to reference back to, instead of going through 20 books to find what you're looking for, you can write down in that book what it was. And again, if you watch the replay, which I hope you will, um, you'll see you'll see that. And again, you can tie different things and all through there and, and decorate this in whatever way you want. I talked a lot about these as, um, as, as a thing called art abandonment. Um, I go to a lot, a lot of doctor appointments and um, get a lot of tests done and all those kind of things. So I'm constantly somewhere. And it's nice to make these. These are very inexpensive things to make. We have them all around. You know, we have them around the house. We have our paper towel. Um, uh, you know, cores of our paper towels when we're done using them, our toilet paper ones, and, um, you know, just extra scrap of paper you have around, or you can even go to the craft store and they have clearance scrap paper, uh, you know, 10, 15 cents a piece, and you can make quite a few out of it. So, um, or you can collage a bunch. You can, you can do so many things. You can paint them. You can do whatever. So this was a, a show, and like I said, I'm going to put it in my um, description there. And this is one I did with watercolor paper. And um, I explained what I, you know, what to do, what I would do with that. What I wanted to show you very quickly um, is a little tip. Is this is just a toilet paper roll, and I want to show you something that I do. Some something else that I do. What I do, and you can see that it has like a roll, like one of those um, biscuit popper things. So you can see you don't really want to cut it down um, too far by the corner. You kind of want to get it in the middle somewhere and cut it in half. And this can be another art abandonment um, thing that you do or just something just for art yourself because it's a great. Now you can use either side and you see it rolls back up. Now here's my tip. Uh, a few things I do. I have a normal iron, obviously an, a regular size iron, and I have the small iron. Um, what I would do, what I do do, is because it's cardboard, give it a little spray and just run your iron over it. Just very quick. You can even put like a pressing cloth or a towel, you know, and put a little steam because what it'll do is it will flatten out, which I probably should have done before I did this. So, I, so you could have seen it, but let's pretend. So, you know, you just work with it for a second and even me doing this, you can use your heat gun um, and then just keep forming it so it when it dries. Let's see if I could just get this going for a second and my heat gun must not be plugged in. <laughs> okay, well, here we go. And you can see it's, it's very easy to manipulate and so worth it. It's free. How do you go wrong? But you have a little canvas. Now what do you do? Well, I suggest you gesso it, okay? Uh, if you don't have gesso, put on a coat of white um, acrylic paint. You can buy the small folk art, uh, ceramic coat, whatever kind you have. 
um, and use that as your base. Or you can take different colors, different uh, pieces of scrapbook paper that you have. I have tons of different little pieces I save and everything. And I think I have a piece over here. And you can just start with your glue stick or Mod Podge or whatever you use and just start gluing on. And you can see this has a really cool, it's where I cut off the thing. So you can have this go towards the end, you know, and, and you can collage on it and it gives it a little bit more stability. Um, once you do iron this out and it does dry flat, if you don't have an iron or you're, I, I suggest doing many of these at a time, maybe, you know, five, 10, whatever you have. I have a horde of these. Um, you can put them in between a book, like a big thick book and put these between the pages and, you know, shut it, put something heavy on top of the book, you know what I mean? And it'll help when it dries, it's flat. Um, once you do that, then you can take your paint, you can paint on it, you can do a, a pretty painting. If you're not into painting or or whatever, you can get a beautiful stamp um, and stamp, a, they have beautiful flowers and all kinds of stuff, stamp it with black ink and take your markers or colored pencils and, and color them in. Very simplistic. And then just attach, you can do a nice saying or attach, you know, a, a little note in here, put it in a plastic baggie and attach a little note and um, leave it for um, somebody, you know, at the doctor's office or, you, you know, something that will make somebody's day. Um, this is just another idea. Um, I love it. And like I said, I, I do many, I flat many of these and you see it's a beaut it's a great size. Let me measure it. I had the measurement, but I don't. Those who know me know that my brain does not hold information. So it's about five and a quarter by mm, four. Five and a quarter by four inches across. So that I means a pretty good size. And like I said, you have this little canvas. And if you don't want to give it away, you know, if you don't want to do an abandoned art thing, which I've made many of these. I will. Um, I have a bunch that I have to mail out actually, but I do them for random acts of kindness for my friends, or I just sit and and paint. <laughs> you can practice. You have your own canvases. You don't always have to go out and buy new canvases. And there's ways to, like I said, once this is dry, it does get stronger. Um, but like I said, once you put gesso on it, um, you know, if you do do the uh, paper method on it that would also make it stronger um, like as a mixed me media background like I do for mixed media um, you know there's so many things you can take masking tape or whatever kind of tape you have and, and, and tape it around I mean it's endless so I hope you guys um, try this and I hope you guys um, show me some pictures you can find me knitting and things on Facebook um, you can find me at knittingandthings.com is my website and you can find me at craftylink.com under Kelly's Creative Corner and on Tuesday Schmooze Days every second Tuesday of the month. So I hope to see you guys there. Remember I'll have the information for the Crafty Link um, replays in my description and I hope you guys use this and this helps some uh, some of you guys because um, I know it, it gets tight. Money get, could be tight and then you feel like you're stuck well, you know, oh, I can't afford to get canvases. I can't afford to do this. I can't afford to do that. Or you save them because you make art to sell or whatever. These are a fun way to play. And if you do a bunch at a time, and even ask your friends to save the, these for you, but if you sit and iron them and, and, and do a bunch at a time, you have these really quick canvases that you can do a thousand different things on. So I hope you guys have a great day. Be kind to each other. And thank you very much.